Boom. All right, what's going on, you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Stock Talk, a series where we cover exciting news and price action on a few stocks that are exciting me personally at the moment. You guys, today we're not going to be focusing on any individual sector. Instead, we are going to be focusing on a few names that are absolutely running today. So I could not be more excited to cover some of these stocks with you guys. Let's just get straight into this one. As always, we'll quickly go over each topic we're going to be discussing and then we'll dive into each one individually. To kick it off, as you can see in front of you right now, we will take a look at my Robinhood account, which I have mirrored for you on my phone on the screen again once again right here do a little scrolly scrolly swipey swipey just for validation if you guys have not seen uh, me do this before but the reason I want to take a look at this is because we are seeing the best week ever in my portfolio to date. It's only Tuesday, which is crazy to say, but as you can see in the Robinhood account, up almost $200,000 just in the past couple of days. And uh, it feels great, you guys. It feels so validating. It feels so good that, the hard, that your hard work, research, everything is really paying off, coming to fruition. So we will take a look at this. I do want to preface how I feel on days like today where everything is just falling, falling in favor and uh, everything is just going your way. So uh, we will take a look at this again, just to set the grounds. And then we'll take a look at the intro to the newsletter that I sent out this morning. The primary reason that I want to read this is because it talks about profit taking. And I, I feel like profit taking, especially considering some of these stocks that we're going to be talking about and we've talked about on the channel for so long or doing so well. I feel like it's not only important to cover how I choose to take profits on days like today with the portfolio group, but with the entire YouTube family as well. So there's a very important keyword, key phrase, I should say, that you guys can see right here. Don't get greedy. All right. So that's the, that if, if there's one line, if there's a one line or two, sum up this episode is don't get greedy. I want to talk to you guys about taking profits. And uh, again, just, just addressing days where everything is falling in your favor. Okay, so after that, we will, of course, go on to the names that we're going to be covering today on TradingView. Talk price action, talk price targets, talk technical analysis. So we will take a look at TradingView, move this guy real quick, and uh, take a look at the following names today. Going in this order down the watch, so you can see right here, kicking it off with the big runner, the Mars shot. ALYI or alternate systems. You guys, it's crazy to see the price action that is going on with this thing. But again, that's what we've been saying for a long time. It does not take much capital inflow for this stock to see a significant um, see a significant increase in individual share price because the market cap is so small. So ALYI, very exciting, but I do have some downside price targets that I want to share with you guys. Same goes for a lot of the other names that we're going to talk about as well. Okay, so kick it off once again with the Marshot ALY. I move into our favorite Bitcoin mining stocks around here. Right Blockchain, Marathon Patent Group, both absolutely ripping today as well, but seeing a pullback in after hours. So again, I do have some downside price targets that I want to share with you guys. I did take a little bit of profits on all the name on, on all of the names uh, that are in the green here you can see today. And again, that's why I feel like it's important to address profit taking um, on days like today. So again, we will move into Ride Mar. I have downside price targets for you guys there as well. Then on to Sundial. Finally, we see Sundial pop. Sundial also similar to Ryan Mara hit our upside price targets. And uh, I'm, 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 curious to see how sundial unfolds it's a little less clear to me than Mar ryan mar if, uh, if i'm being completely honest but we'll still take a look at sundial i'll let you guys know what i'm seeing on the charts personally and uh yeah but uh regardless very exciting day and uh i'm, I'm very thankful to sundial because my calls were on absolute fire moving on to a couple of the plays that i actually allocated some of the profits uh that i took today into because they dipped. So Xnet, Jinlay, uh, actually down, uh, down as much as like 6% today, while many of the other cryptocurrency based stocks were ripping. So Xnet, I saw opportunity today. I, I pounced on that opportunity. I want to give you guys my upside price target, price target for Xnet as of right now. Another play that I thought was going to do well today, but didn't. And that's okay because again, it's an opportunity. Sorrento. So Sorrento Therapeutics, SRNE, uh, very exciting. I did take a pretty significant call position today in Sorrento Therapeutics for full transparency. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what plays out here because it's looking very very good on the charts and i see big things for sorrento in the near future all right so that is the rundown let's quickly get into it you guys as always before we do though i will ask you to please give the video a like if you do go on to gain value from it today or if you're trading or investing in any of the stocks we're going to be talking about subscribe to the channel if you're new around here want to catch more content like this and of course check out my complete portfolio daily newsletter first link in the description if you want a complete breakdown of my entire portfolio if you want to have an idea of how i make days like to, uh, days like today possible um again full breakdown all call options put options stock positions cryptocurrency positions you guys this is just my robin hood account i'm very fortunate to say that my td ameritrade account has actually surpassed my robin hood account my call options account okay so this is my call options account and td ameritrade is my all stock account and because ALYI plays like ALYI, i've just been ripping so hard uh I'm, I'm very happy to say that my td account is doing even better and of course this is uh completely aside from my my entire cryptocurrency portfolio which is um very fortunately doing well 
right now is right now too so uh again complete breakdown and then you guys will get one of these bad boys in your inbox every day let's just get straight into it but if you guys are interested if, if you like what you hear here and you want um analyses every day sent into your email inbox during market hours first link in the description if you're interested let's just get into this okay so uh another day another dollar waves family let's go as expected, we're following up yesterday's gains with an even greater day of gains. I'm feeling both extremely thankful and extremely validated. If you're seeing some crazy gains today, please remember to stay rational, stay cool, and most importantly, do not get greedy. That's the, again, that is if there's one phrase to attribute to what's happening right now, it is do not get greedy. I've realized a significant amount of profits today. Fortunately, some very important price targets were hit, so I've reduced my call positions in SNDL, Riot, and Mara by roughly 70%. So again, you guys, once we get into the charts, I will show you guys the top side price targets that were hit. If you guys have been following along, you guys would know that we hit this price target. So on days like today, when price targets were hit, because we're seeing every... just just seeing so many of these plays just run and rip um i felt that 70 percent was was the correct action to take i do still have a decent position in some of these plays just in the case that they continue to run because we i think we all know that that's very possible but i personally on a day like today would take 70 percent off my position that's what you can see here you see my buying power is looking pretty strong right now of 177k in buying power and that's because i took profits again i did allocate some of those profits in plays like sorrento and xnet but Dry powder at the ready to strike. Um, I've even reduced my venture style investment, ALYI, by roughly 25% today because it would be downright irresponsibly not to do so after today's parabolic price action. So again, we will get into ALYI. That's the first thing we're going to take a look at on the charts. It's just, again, you guys, I, I, I've always talked about ALYI as my venture style investment. That means you can't touch it. A venture, like a venture capital and angel investment is an investment that means you, you can't touch it for years and although that happened just because we're seeing such momentum in AOY, i've seen you guys i've seen this before again i've, I've built my career off playing bubbles i know what <laughs> i know i know this look i know what this looks like um and I, I just decided it would be foolish of me to not realize some profits today and buy back um when we see a dip because i do think a dip is in the cards in the near future and then again you can just buy more for less pretty much okay um so we'll talk about that because again We'll get right into that after this. That said, I do remain bullish on all the above and will restructure a new call options position when and if we see the next dip. I have a lot of cash on hand at the moment. Dry powder, baby, ready to strike. So, again, covering uh, in the newsletter down below, covered Riot, Mara, Xnet, SNDL, SRNE, and AOYI. So, we're going to be covering those exact same things today. Not quite in this order, but kicking it off with the bang ALYI. So kick it off with ALYI. We can close this out now. I didn't really, I didn't really talk to you guys about this again. I was just really excited to share this with you guys. It was personally my best day ever. Uh, not best day ever, but definitely best two days ever consistent two days we saw that we saw that crazy price action where my portfolio almost got to like a million dollars when when we saw all that SNDO GameStop uh, GameStop drama go down of course it did immediately tank afterwards but this is steady I like the look of this and I'm really liking liking some of these trades right now so we can close this out again you guys just really thankful to be experiencing this and uh really thankful to be on this roller coaster ride with you guys and again this it's more this is not to brag at all and make that very clear i should have said that right right up front honestly but this is to celebrate because i know if you guys especially if you guys have been following along we've been talking about so many of these names that just went like are all seeing double digits today we've been talking about these names for a long time and we've been very well positioned again if you guys are especially if you're part of the portfolio group um i never want you to copy me of course but i know realistically if you guys are interested in these videos and you're probably trading some of the same stocks that i am so again it's a celebration you guys treat yourself your loved ones to a beautiful meal tonight if you are eating good like i am all right so let's close this guy out and uh we'll get into some charts all right so boom ayi almost almost touched the moon today literally that's why i kept this here we almost got to the moon broke straight through my price targets you guys uh again if you've been following these ayi analyses you know that i thought we were gonna i thought we were gonna bounce i thought we were gonna see a little resistance here at at this level which was the which is the line of resistance on the overall uptrend beginning on january 6 and i was pretty confident i was feeling very confident in the fact that we were going to see this act as a line of resistance probably bounce off of it uh, just a little before um seeing that parabolic move up which we almost did you can see here that we almost saw it test this line of resistance but that did not happen we just broke straight through it once we broke through it that's when we went absolutely parabolic and you're seeing a lot of volume here a lot of volume coming in so ayi today reached a high of 20 cents you guys it's crazy to think that just a couple weeks ago just like a week and a half ago or so we started talking about AOYI. I released that analysis video on AOYI, and it was at like two cents. Okay, so we're almost we reached a high of twenty cents today. We've seen a ten x in just like ten days, pretty much. And uh, 
this again guys is why i think we could see a pullback in the near future um just because it's uh, although i remain so optimistic and so bullish on this project on this company over the course of the year of 2021 even of, of the next coming of, of just the next like month or two it's never it's never healthy to see this kind of price action in the span of a few days okay so in the span of a week beginning february 3rd ALYI was at five cents okay since then you can see here up 306 percent which is a 4x up to the high of 20 cents so again you guys i think this is a sick company i think it deserves to see some uh, insane price action but i've been here before i know i know this look and it's only a matter of time before we see a short-term pullback keep in mind it's a short-term pullback i do think we'll see a short-term pullback medium to long term still very bullish short term i think it's just again corrections are a healthy part of every bull market as i say so much here especially and that's such a such an important statement to keep in mind you guys at times like these when everything is just going parabolic okay so uh my price target on the downside for ayi is the first target the first target right here is at you know what let's turn this green because that's my that's what i use as my buy side price target so let's change that and then let's take this arrow and do that and then turn it orange because i think it's going to pull back a little bit okay so this is my downside price target for ALYI. This is my, at least my initial downside price target for ALYI. I think it's very likely that we use what was previous resistance as new support. Okay, that's technical analysis 101. Previous resistance becomes new support. Blast through this went absolutely parabolic. I think it's very likely we go on to use this as support. And if we hit that, say tomorrow, if we just hit that tomorrow, if we come down here tomorrow, that would take us to about um, 13 cents. Okay, 13 to 14 cents. But... I think it's also likely just because AOYI has being, been seeing such parabolic price action that we come down, test the initial high before popping off just this week, and that would take us to about 10, uh, that would take us to about 11 cents. So like 10, like 10.8 cents, but I'd be personally comfortable buying AOYI at 11 cents. Uh, this, we'll have to see what happens here. Again, I would be, I would not be surprised at all if we come down, use this because we did close two four hour candles perfectly right at this like 10.8 cent area. But again, don't get greedy. This, this, this rule applies not only in taking profits, but buying back in on dips when you're fundamentally bullish on something for the medium to long term. Okay, so uh, 11 cents is my personal downside price target for AOYI. I'll probably accumulate a little if I see us bounce off of this line around 14 cents tomorrow. Uh, yeah, around 14 cents. Uh, you guys, you guys can see the price just as well as I can. If we bounce off this line around 14 cents tomorrow or something, I would be I'd probably buy a little bit back up again on any dip. I'm comfortable kind of dollar cost averaging or just buying a little bit here and there. Um, every time we dip on ALYI, to be completely honest. But if I do see a successfully use this as a line of resistance and continue the uptrend, that will probably be a sign to me that we're just going to keep running and, uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll probably buy back in. But if we do break below this, I think it's very likely we come down to the 10 cent region. That's actually like, it's crazy to think that that would be a 50% correction pretty much from the high of, uh, of 20 cents, um, which makes sense. Again, you guys on, on rallies, it's very, very common on parabolic rallies, like crazy rallies like this. It's, it's not uncommon by any means to see 50% corrections. Okay. So I'm very, very comfortable personally buying ALYI at 11 cents just to be a little conservative. And, uh, yeah, that is my downside price target for ALYI. So maybe you come down here and then we go back up, go to the moon, and then we're going to Mars, you guys. Okay, so not the moon for ALYI, but Mars is an ongoing joke here if you guys happen to be new. So this is my personal Mars shot. I, I think ALYI could hit a dollar, then $10 over the coming year, two years, three years, five years, I don't know. But considering it's at 20 cents now, you're looking at some, some crazy price action potential, okay? Some crazy multiple potential, all right? Like 50X from 20 cents would be $10, which would take alternate systems from the 20 million dollar market cap is at right now to about a 1 billion dollar market cap which is not out of the realm of possibility at all okay so that is ALYI let's move on to the Bitcoin miners ride blockchain and marathon patent group keep in mind you guys both of these act very very similarly so I'm only going to spend, we'll, we'll probably spend a little more time on riots and then move on to Mara and just, just because these, these two move in unison. All right. For the most part, not completely, obviously, because the price isn't exactly the same, but two peas in a pod, they, they always manage to play a game of catch up with each other. Okay. So riots did actually technically break the price target. So as you guys know, $40 has been my price target for riot Mara for the past, um, for the past couple of weeks now, ever since we saw this this this, this beginning of trend um, at the beginning of, of February of this month, my price target has been forty dollars. And today we 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 hit it. We hit it faster than I thought. Honestly, I thought this was going to happen 
probably by the end of the week. But um, again, we hit $40 today, feels good. And uh, that is why I took a lot of profits, okay? So took some profits on both Riot and Mara. To, I mean, a pre, you guys saw the portfolio, very, very good day for, for the Robinhood portfolio, for the call options. And uh, yeah, closed out my position by about 70% because my price targets are hit. That's usually gonna be, again, it's very dependent on the situation at hand. But today I felt that like it's usually going to be 50 to 75 70 it's going to be like 50 to 75 percent of my position if my price target is hit okay so today went with 70 percent i felt like that was a responsible thing to do because my price target was hit say we see uh i fully had i had stuff drawn on right it did not sink i hate when that happens you guys my bad so my price target my dad let's just get straight into the downside price target this is my downside price target for riot right here so because we hit my upside price target it did test the line of resistance on the long-term uptrend as expected you can see it broke out and uh, i was watching this in real time and as it broke out as it broke this uptrend a lot of traders were looking at this and it was having a really really hard time closing above and it did not close above and it's actually down i think about uh, like six percent in after hours trading so i do expect riot to pull back and my downside price target let's get a price target going let's get that little bullseye going my downside price target for riot blockchain is going to be about 32 33 dollars say we hit it oh no, no no here let's i think it's gonna happen by the end of the week so say it happens by the end of the week it would take us uh to about 32 dollars so let's get this guy back here just because um it would irritate me if i didn't do this but i think it's very likely that by the end of the week riot short term corrects to test the previous line of resistance same again previous resistance becomes new supports and uh, i think it's very likely that it uses the top line of resistance on what was a significant ascending channel has previously acted as a very significant line of resistance in the past obviously this trend line is in play i think it's likely that we come down to test the 32 law to 32 dollar level you guys i'm trying to, i'm trying to speed through this one you guys i feel like we're going to, or we're going to be going a little long here so come down to test the 32 30 that's a tough one 32 dollar level because that would again once again be the be the support be new support of the old resistance all right so 32 dollars i'm personally comfortable buying back right let's move on to mara mara again very similar thing but mara actually i think has a little more room for growth so although again you guys it's, it's tough mara is also down a little bit in after hours but from a technical perspective mara actually looks a little bit more promising because we could see mara come up to test this this absolute it's the same exact trend line as riot but mara is actually a little more volatile so you can see the ups and downs are a little more extreme for mara so maybe uh if if we do see riot and mara pull back tomorrow because they are down in after hours that could be a little a little sign of what's to come uh it wouldn't be surprising to see mara come down but then ultimately come back up and test this top trend line so say we hit it by february 18th just where this price target is drawn we could come up to 48 dollars, and that wouldn't surprise me either but like i said in the beginning you guys i still have 30 percent of my overall positions and because these were up so much today that 30 percent of what was um of what you of what just yesterday before this run up was 100 percent of the position is still a pretty significant amount it's still a sizable position for me personally and again keep in mind you guys it's all relative but it's just finding that balance of taking profits and um in not getting greedy and understanding when to buy dips when to buy back in and that's what that's that's trading that's what swing trading is okay so um again you guys maybe we keep keep ripping if we do say say mara runs up tomorrow say it chooses to test this top side price target that would take us to about 44 dollars and 50 cents i wouldn't be surprised to see that either but maybe we come down maybe we come down to test the previous high because that's very likely as well that'll take us to about 28 dollars and then ultimately go on to test the top line of resistance on the overall uptrend okay so again it's all variable but i will say that i'll personally be i'll personally be comfortable buying uh, buying mara you could almost draw a similar line to this but because riot and mara go hand in hand i honestly do pretty little ta on so this trend line is obviously in play right here and say we come down here that'll take us to about exactly that previous high at about 2850 so 2850 on the downside is where i'm personally comfortable buying mar if we hit it by the end of this week um, but keep in mind you guys obviously the further out these trend lines extend the higher or lower or the, I, I should no only the higher because it's it's on incline it's on um obvious why it would just be higher but obviously the further these extend whenever mara chooses to test these price targets um it will increase okay so say we hit it by by february 19th by next week that'll take us to like almost a 30 dollar okay and then say we hit say we hit this price target uh by march 1st that would take us to like a 52 dollar mara okay so again these trend lines are still in play i'm keeping a close eye on them as always you guys i do recommend you guys uh draw these on your own trading view charts for yourself if i can do it you can do it so i trust you guys to um again do your own due diligence and keep your eye on these charts because these trend lines are very important and uh 
again this is you, you can use all the ta you want you know you like there's so many traders who use so many complex systems and i just especially in this current market environment like beginning back in march when everything just started going bonkers i found just general trend lines to be the easiest and the, and like they're honestly easy to do. like look at this these are just trend lines like everyone can do this so take a look at this you guys always do it for yourself and uh, again i trust you guys to do your own due diligence and keep an eye on these Sundial, Sundial Growers, cannabis on fire today. So cannabis, like Afria, my Afria calls were doing well today. A lot of all the Tilray, Chronos uh, Group, uh, CGC, Cannabis Growth, all the names. The cannabis sector was just on fire, smoking hot today. Um, not covering those, but we will cover Sundial because that was uh, this is the play that we've been we've been talking about for a while. I'm very excited about. It. Okay, so Sundial Growers almost came up to test the, the my, my initial price target this has been my conservative price target again because you have two touch points here um so this was my conservative price target this orange this, this orange bullseye right here which would take us to again about a dollar and 80 cents we got really close and this is another example you guys of not getting greedy so came very close I once we came once we got to about a dollar seventy five that was my price target uh, I think a couple weeks back when we first started seeing a big uh, a big just a week ago when again like when we saw all that craziness with Sundial GameStop etc so my initial target was a dollar seventy five cents we hit a dollar seventy five I was like I'm not gonna get greedy here a dollar eighty if we choose to test this trend line is not a significant um, amount of difference in case we do really see a pullback after we hit that target so again dollar seventy five came. I reduced my sundial position by about 70 percent as well okay so that said i do think it's very likely because a lot of traders are going to be looking at these trend lines once again again this market is crazy so i'm not gonna be surprised if we see this purple line come into play this is using the absolute top on this initial rally back in december um as that touch point for this overall line of resistance on the uptrend and i would not be surprised either if we saw that come into play so if we do see that come into play say we touch this top trend line this absolute top line of resistance um, by the end of the week that would take us to a two dollar and fifteen cents sundial all right so i would not be surprised if we hit that if we do hit two dollars and fifteen cents i'll probably close out my entire sundial position keep in mind I still have 30 percent. it's still a significant position size for me if we keep running up i'm happy but if not if we do choose to pull back use this conservative line of resistance that i've been um, targeting for a while myself uh then I made the right choice, but if we keep running, then it's, it, I, I still, it's a, it's a, it's a win-win situation. Obviously if it goes down, I lose a little bit, but it just gives me an opportunity to buy back in at a lower price. If I do think we'll continue this rally. So on the downside, my price target for the downside is, is, is very, is pretty evident. It's just right here. It's this initial high. It's, this, it's this top candle. This is a little, I mean, this is a little safer just because this is like a general area where, where it spent a lot of time prior to popping off. And this is actually where we gapped up. So it wouldn't be surprising either. Let's move this out of the way a little bit. If we came up to this area, again, there's a lot of touch points right here, um, to this area where we gapped up. So gap trading, definitely a thing uh, to fill this gap right around here at like a dollar and 30 cents. So I'd be very comfortable buying Sundial at a dollar 30 cents just because again, this thing is running. Cannabis is hot right now. Cannabis is a very exciting sector, especially with the, with the blue wave coming in, the left really taking over. They're a lot more open to cannabis. That's why the cannabis sector is popping off. So. Would not be surprised to see Sundial pull back and then maybe ultimately come to test this uh, test. I think I think at some point Sundial will test this uh, this absolute top line of resistance, like this, this very optimistic line of resistance. Say we hit it. Say we hit it March 1st. OK, and this is a very steep line. So say we hit it March 1st. That will take Sundial to about two dollars and thirty five cents. OK, so maybe pull back again. If we pull back to a dollar thirty, I'd be very comfortable buying uh, accumulating more Sundial here because, again, Ultimately, whether it's this blue line or this purple line, I think one of these will come back into play at some point in the future. Okay, so that is Sundial. Let's move on to XNet. Let's move on to the two plays. Um, let's close it out with the two plays that I personally added on to today because I saw opportunity here on the dip. All right, so XNet again. This is a, XNet is following a beautiful. I don't even know. I still have this here, you guys. In all honesty, because I only talk about this one. Um, in all honesty, XNet. I I like again. XNet kicked off in the morning, I think about 8% up, and then it fell over the course of the day to a low of like 6%. It was just on a very, very steady decline. So XNet, uh, although it did fall today, it closed out the day uh, down like only a percent and a half, which is not very significant. But although uh, I, I, was, I was fortunate enough to pick up some XNet around 6% around minus six percent all right but again it did close the day around uh just down around a percent and a half which is not that bad and uh actually speaks further to the fact that i think we're going to see a further rally in xnet okay so xnet again although all other play even like riot mara at literally every crypto play currency works uh we're on fire today xnet was down which is a little weird to see but again i was like it's it, this is the obvious play 
in my mind to accumulate some shares especially if i'm liquidating a lot of these other plays so again took some of the profits from riot mars sundial put them into xnet and sorrento and uh again i think it's very likely you guys know this if you've been following along my price target for xnet by the end of the week is eight dollars and ten cents if we happen to see a run up because the crypto space i know xnet is down like a percent and a half after market as well so maybe we do see xnet pull back a little bit more but ultimately my price target for xnet if we hit it by the end of the week is about eight dollars and ten cents at that point similar thing i'll probably reduce my position by 40 50 60 70 percent depending on how it's looking okay so xnet very bullish on xnet and uh, again I was, I was honestly excited to see this again was already positioned in xnet lost a little bit of money today not too much again because we we closed out the day down down i bought at minus six percent and we ended up closing out at 1.4%. So um, I was actually pretty much flat on the day because I added to my position, all right? So that's how you balance it out. Again, that's just how I personally balance it out. I'm just trying to give you guys a look um, into how I how I trade, how I act on days like today. Close it out, last but not least, I'm losing my voice, you guys. I, sometimes, I, dude, this is honestly my like 12th or 13th take probably. And uh, I, I got like a minute into the intro every time, you guys, and it's, it's, it's rough on my voice. So please forgive uh, my raspy voice. You guys are probably been like, why does he sound so bad this whole time? But please forgive the raspy voice getting to the end of the video and uh, the voice is really starting to go. So apologize for that. Please forgive me. Sundial. Pfft. Sorrento. Sorrento Therapeutics is looking amazing to me, you guys. Okay, so Sorrento, again, played out this bull flag that we've been drawing, that we've been taking a look at for the past week or so. Perfectly, perfectly broke out of this bull flag, like textbook bull flag playing out right here. Parabolic, again, bull flag. Of course, a bullish pattern, as the name states. Uh, parabolic, uh, parabolic move up, which creates a flag pull, followed by a uh, descending triangle. In this case, it's just like a symmetrical triangle, which is very nice to see. It's just a wedge. So, following this, uh, the parabolic move up, symmetrical triangle broke out perfectly at the tip. It's, it's pretty rare to see that, honestly, but this is like a perfect textbook breakout. And we're actually seeing a little mini bull flag print here. So, since the last one, let's just go to the hourly quick, so I can show you guys this mini bull flag. Um, uh, this is a textbook mini bull flag. This is just a little version of what happened back here. Okay, so so right, so again, on the hourly parabolic move up, followed by a descending triangle, which is a, which is like the classic bull flag that we've been seeing so much here lately on the channel. And I think it's very very likely that we see Sorrento pop off tomorrow. Okay, so ultimately, you guys know that my 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 top side price target for Sorrento is about twenty seven dollars. If we hit it tomorrow, which is pretty unlikely to me, um, but we could. We never know with how much craziness is going on in these markets right now. If we do hit it by tomorrow, that would take us up to $27. You guys know this is a very historic area. This is a very historic ceiling dating all the way back to like 2015 for Sorrento. I've had this line drawn here for the past at least six months. And uh, it's been it's been my price target for a long time. Also, a lot of analysts have a $27 price target. I'm not exactly sure on the rationale for that. They probably take a lot more financials into account. But speaking solely from a technical perspective, we would have to test so you guys can see here, the, the reason I have it drawn here is because it obviously intersects with the with the line of resistance on the short-term uptrend. Using this initial high from uh, January 19th, using this next high from January 27th. And it only makes sense to me because we are still in a short-term uptrend. We're seeing higher highs and higher lows here. It only makes sense to me that this trend line comes into play one more time, all right? So if we do happen to hit it, again, just at the point where those intersect, which is tomorrow, that would take us to about $27, which is, I mean, again, it's not impossible. It's not likely, but it's not impossible. But again, $27 if we hit it tomorrow. But I do think that we could, maybe by the end of the week, we, we, we test this uptrend. That's a little more realistic considering we have a few days left. Um, that would be very, very optimistic. Keep in mind, you guys, this is a very optimistic trend line. Um, if we do hit it by the end of the week, that would take us to about a $28.50 Sorrento, which is just under, I mean, I guess it's not it's not completely out of the realm of possibility. What is that, like a 60 70% game? So... It's not completely out of the realm of possibility. Keep in mind, you guys, like Riot Mara have been up, like, you guys know, like 50% in the past. Like, they were up almost, they almost doubled in the past few days. So, I, I don't see why it's out of the realm of possibility for Sorrento to do a similar thing. Obviously, a different company. Obviously, Riot Mara have the momentum of Bitcoin and Tesla buying Bitcoin behind them and stuff. But I think Sorrento has has a, has a pretty high likelihood of, of ultimately testing this this um, this line of resistance on the, on the overall uptrend. Again, Say we hit it February 12th by the end of the week, that would take us to 20 dollars uh, and fifty cents. But say we hit, say maybe it takes a little longer. Maybe it takes a little longer. Say we hit it on February 23rd. So that would take us to thirty-five dollars, which is very optimistic for Sorrento. What's Sorrento's market cap at right now? Four point two three billion dollars. Again, you guys, Sorrento is such a. 
we've been following this for a long time. You guys may know of Sorrento if you've, if you've been around for a while, but Sorrento is taking the multi-pronged approach to COVID. COVID still a real thing. Def, like there's, uh, there's a lot of other things that are, as far as news is concerned, that are overshadowing COVID right now. That doesn't make it not real. That doesn't make it not a serious thing. And it doesn't make companies who are working towards cures, the save the world companies as, we, as we've always called them, that doesn't make them irrelevant. And obviously Sorrento right now for both technically and fundamentally, I like a lot. We're seeing more volume come in and uh, I'm very bullish on Sorrento, which is of course why I chose to add to my Sorrento position today. Okay. Again, you guys, my voice is, I can, I just feel my throat is like scratchy and I, I feel like I sound terrible. So again, apologize for my scratchy voice for trying to go so fast. I was just super excited and knew I had to cover some of these names with you guys. Um, and, and yeah, again, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know down below, which of these names you're the most bullish on personally. If you're eating good today, again, if you are celebrate, take some profits, don't get greedy, treat yourself and your family and, and your loved ones. Anyone, treat anyone, treat anyone you want to a beautiful dinner because, because ultimately it's not, it really, it really becomes like a numbers game at some point, you guys, like, it's awesome to see these six figure days, like today, like up a few hundred thousand dollars, like, that's awesome, it feels great, it's validating, because I work so hard, I dedicate my life to this craft, and it's validating for everything I've been doing, and everything I've been working on, but it ultimately, it's just a game, like, this is, I have fun playing this game, that's why I love it, it's a game to me, and it becomes a numbers game, it's very real money, but it's ultimately just, just a numbers game, and in the end, What's way more fulfilling is knowing that you guys are succeeding as well. It's not me. I wake up in the morning not excited to look at my portfolio, but excited to to write my newsletter and talk to you guys on the Discord and and like look at the comments on the video and stuff. Like community is the real important part here. So just keep that in mind, you guys. It's fun making money, but it's fulfilling to have a great community around you. And that's why I appreciate you, Waves fam. Um, especially if you're watching now, if you're still watching this video, you're the real one. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the comments down below. So until next time, guys, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace.